Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. Today's video, I'm gonna show you clips from my training last week. I've been getting a lot of questions asking if the training videos are coming back. I guess they will for now, but in today's video, I just kind of briefly wanna talk about where my training's been, where it is now, where it's going, in addition to some other things, just for some insight and context into the videos that I've been making. So I haven't been showing a lot of training videos for a couple of reasons. Number one, far and away, the biggest reason has probably just been my free time has been at a minimum. And when I do have free time to make videos, I tend to wanna to focus on other things that to me are more interesting, which is a lot of the rep fitness gear stuff, a lot of the review stuff, setting up a gym. I know some people really like seeing some insight into training and hearing about what I'm doing, but I think the staying power videos of a review on something that more people are apt to watch is just, takes precedent right now. In terms of my training itself, in addition to those being low priority for me filming what my training is, it's just I haven't really been training consistently. When we moved into this new house, which has been about two and a half months now, uh, it took a while to set up the gym and the rest of the house as well. In addition to that, there was a, a gap of, I'd say, about a month from when we transitioned into the rental to when the new house was actually ready that I wasn't able to train. So the house wasn't completely complete, which is a little bit redundant of a saying for me. Um, so we ended up not being able to move in right away, which meant I didn't have any of my gym stuff since it was already all in the house and it wasn't set up. And I had a lot of stuff going on at work at the time. So training really took a back seat. And even when we moved in, it took me a while to set stuff up, you know, from setting up the stuff that I already had to taking um, and receiving the new stuff from rep and setting that all up. I did all this myself. I'm not saying that to humble brag or anything like that, but it's just very time consuming and working a full job outside of YouTube. YouTube is just a hobby of mine still. Having, you know, a family moving into the house and taking care of, again, things that are more pressing. I just didn't really have a lot of time. So in some instances, instead of training, I'd be lugging equipment from the garage down to the basement, putting it together, whatever the case may be. And again, because I did it by myself, it just took a long time. So training really took a back seat. And when I did get back to training, I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do. You know, I played around with a lot of stuff over the years, a lot of different programs. I played around with doing just more hypertrophy-based training for a while, uh, maybe getting in some new stuff only because I have all this new equipment, maybe I should change my training. So I was just really messing around the last couple of weeks, wasn't on any sort of real program with any type of progression built in or any real end goal in mind. However, I think that's changed. I think I'm at a point now where I want to get back into mostly strength training. I say that because there are some other stuff I still want to play around with. And even though there's a ton of great programming out there, I've done a lot of uh, coaches in the past. I want to make sure that I can still kind of use some of the toys that I have down here in the basement and continue to be able to adapt my training to some of the new gear. I know Coop from Garage Gym Reviews talks about this all the time. It's hard to be consistent in your training when you're constantly getting new gear in and you wanna be able to use it so you can make reviews and videos on it, which is something I really enjoy doing. Uh, so I wanna be able to have a little bit of flexibility with my training. So long story short, what I'll be doing for probably the next couple of months is I'm going to be running the Strength Athletes Free Intermediate Nine Week Program. So I wouldn't classify myself as an intermediate necessarily, but I've run enough of the Strength Athletes programs and been coached by Bryce for long enough where I just really know that I, number one, like their training, and number two, that I respond well to it. So I'm taking this free template and basically adapting it some. Now this first week, I didn't change too much. I just added in some accessory work or changed the volume on some of like the back work for it. Uh, but my goal is to kind of stick with this training template for the main progressions for squat, bench, and deadlift, and then kind of adapt some of the training accessory work to, to volume and maybe add in a, an extra day. Right now, the program calls for four days. I might add in a fifth day just to kind of hit things that wouldn't really take away from my main lifts, but still lets me get in and play around with the gym. So I'm talking like arms, I'm talking shoulders, I'm talking traps, who knows, maybe even throw some calf work in there here and there. Uh, but that's my goal in the short term. So get my general strength levels back up. Right now, the way I've set up the program is basically to have uh, between a 400 or 450 pound squat max, a 315 bench max, and like a 450 to 500 deadlift max. So scaled back a bit. And I've always found that when I've had to take time off, uh, that this is the best approach for me. So really kind of undershoot everything, 
just get the movements back. And then after this nine week cycle, maybe I'll just max out or test out then or run a small peaking program for a couple of weeks and just kind of reset my baseline and continue to do that until I'm caught back up. And I find that I progress the best this way as well as feel the best this way. You know, all too often I see people get back in the gym and want to get right back to where they were and they end up getting hurt or burnt out. I'm in it for the long haul, baby. So I'm going to get back in and just move around. Also play around with some of these attachments, some of these new racks. Uh, there's a lot of fun toys down here. I'm really looking forward to it and bringing you guys reviews and feedback on all of this. As always, I really kind of appreciate comments or direction from you if there's anything pressing that you really want to see. Otherwise, I'll just use my best judgment on that, which I think is pretty good. I think I have pretty good judgment. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and look to wrap this up as I'm starting to get to the six-minute mark, and I've done a good job rambling so far. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. You'll see some more probably in the future. But in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.